So I'm here with Mitchell Heasty, the lead designer on Total War Warhammer 3. So can, can you can you maybe um, summarize uh, what the game is about in, in two to three sentences? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. So Total War Warhammer 3 um, is our most recent game. Um, it's a grand strategy game. It's a game built of two modes. You have the campaign mode, and you have the real time um, battle mode as well. Um, so yeah, you have grand strategy across an entire world. Um, and then you can go into the battles with lots of different units and fight against your enemies. And it's uh, it's embedded in the uh, in the rich Warhammer franchise, so uh, there's definitely uh, it's a flavor-rich setting. So uh, I, I guess players will have uh, something to di to discover, and um, they have access to all those nice story elements from the Warhammer series. No, absolutely. I mean, the Warhammer universe is so rich and full of content. Um, that's why we wanted to base our games off this, right? It's because there's so much there. So, yeah, this has been a trilogy for us, and we've explored different parts of the Warhammer universe throughout the trilogy. Um, we've now gone eastward in um, Warhammer 3, so we've got to, yeah, got a chance to explore new content now, like Grand Cafe, the Yogas, and so much more. Yeah, you said you've done, already done in the first part uh, some, some uh, pretty interesting, interesting stuff. So uh, how does the third part innovate upon those uh, first two titles? Yeah, so I mean, one of the good things about being a trilogy is that we've been able to you know, utilize the games to upgrade our technology um, on each release. Um, Warhammer 3 builds upon Warhammer 2 in many different ways. Um, a big focus of Warhammer 3 for us was multiplayer. Um, so now in Warhammer 3, for example, um, you can play with more than two players like the previous games. So now you can play with up to eight players, synchronous turns, multiplayer. Um, so that was a big improvement for us. We've done lots of other things. We did a big siege rework for Warhammer 3. That was based on a lot of feedback from our fans. So they've been yeah, really enjoying that. Um, we've got a lot of different content in Warhammer 3 now. Um, we focused on chaos for Warhammer 3. Uh, we've got minor settlement battles, uh, which is a brand new mode for battle. Um, and yeah, we've got multiple different campaign modes for Warhammer 3 as well. We've got uh, yeah, the prologue campaign. Um, we've got the Realm of Chaos, which is a great story-driven narrative campaign. And now, ultimately, we've got the Immortal Empires campaign. Yeah, um, like you just said, uh, you, if it, uh, you have recently introduced a new uh, campaign mode as a beta right now. And um, what, what makes it special? What, what, what it's, uh, what's, what's the great about it? Yeah, so our promise right at the start of the trilogy was we're going to take everything we ever make and we're going to put it all into one place. Um, and yeah, you're going to have all of the content um, into one massive world spanning campaign mode. And that is Immortal Empires. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we've just released that now on the 23rd of August. Um, it is in beta at the moment. We're looking to get feedback from all of our fans. But yeah, this is, this is a 10 year journey for us. Um, we've got over half a decade of content um, that we've made for this trilogy. Um, and now it's here all together in, in Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires. So yeah, it's a really special moment for us. Um, and yeah, we've released it as a beta, so we're really looking forward to getting player feedback. Um, and we're just gonna build upon, yeah, not only Immortal Empires, but Warhammer 3 from here on out. So it's basically 10 years of your life um, condensed into a, a new mode. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, yeah, for, for people like myself who've been working on this trilogy right from the start, you know, I know I speak for so many of the developers when I say this is a really special moment. We've been working on this for so long now. To see it all come together finally after all those years, yeah, it's, uh, it's really special. And uh, do you need a first and, two, uh, and second part uh, to play it? Yeah, so Immortal Empires is free if you own Warhammer 1, 2 and 3. Um, but also one of the things that we've introduced in Immortal Empires um, is that if you play multiplayer, uh, only only one person needs to own all three games. So if you've got seven friends um, and you want to introduce them to the world of Warhammer, they only need to own Warhammer 3, um, and then you can explore the world with them. And I guess this will also bring, uh, bring players who only played the third part to also get the first and second part, so uh, yeah, more fun for them. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, there's there's so many sort of yeah, so much content now through through the three games, and also all of the the various free updates and the the DLC content that we've released over the many years as well. So there's a lot. And uh, with this being this third part, um, how do you think new players will uh, will get into this into the series? Um, should they start from the first one, or should they start with the third one or with anyone, and uh, just play what they want? What they want, right? 
Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, new players were a big focus for us in Warhammer 3. We really wanted to make sure the game was maybe more accessible than it's ever been before. Um, so that is why we focused on making the prologue, um, the Lost God campaign for Warhammer 3. And that is, yeah, that is a really good introduction to the game for anyone who's perhaps new to Warhammer, perhaps new to Total War, you know, altogether. And that, that is a campaign mode that is, it's a tutorial, it's a story-driven narrative, guided experience. Um, and if you're new to either Total War or Warhammer, that is a really good you know, point of introduction for you. So uh, yeah, that was one of the big things we wanted to add for Warhammer 3. Great. Um, so with this uh, also being the conclusion of the, uh, of the uh, series, uh, of course you're planning DLCs, uh, but um, what's next? Do we, do we see this as the, the final, uh, after the DLCs, do we see this as the, as the final for, uh, farewell from the Warhammer brand? Or there might, there, might, there, might there be something in the future, in the far future? Yeah, I mean, yeah, so we've always planned um, Warhammer to be a trilogy for us. So we are at the third installment now. As you said, right, we've got, you know, we've got a lot of plans still left. Um, players will have seen we've supported, you know, the past two games for many years, right? We spent, yeah, multiple years on Mortal Empires in Warhammer 2, adding content, updates. Um, so our focus right now is, is purely on Warhammer 3 and Immortal Empires and, you know, the future there. We've got, we've got a, lot of, a lot of time to go. Um, our players know, right, we've got, we've got two strands now as well. We've got the historical side of Total War and we've got the fantasy side. That's going to continue into the future. So, yeah, nothing that we can, you know, say yet. But, yeah, we can expect more, more from both of those in future. And anything, anything you can say about the DLCs? Um, so we just recently released Champions of Chaos, which is our first uh, big DLC for Warhammer 3. Um, that focuses on the Warriors of Chaos. Um, so that's been really exciting to see the early feedback to that. Uh, we just released the Blood for the Blood God as well, which is our, our big blood pack if you, if you really kind of like that stuff. And uh, yeah, as I said, we've got plans. Um, we know that there's a lot of content still to explore in the Warhammer universe. Um, so yeah, we're, we're excited to, yeah, this is, you know, Immortal Empires, it's, it's the culmination, but it's also in many ways also just the start for us. So exciting news ahead. Yeah, exciting uh, news ahead indeed. Uh, so um, as a conclusion, um, what's uh, the thing you like the most about uh, Total War Warhammer 3? God, I mean, I think the good thing about Immortal Empires is, yeah, every, everything we've made, um, it's, it's now coming together. So yeah, no longer do you have to sort of you know, wait for you know an experience that has has everything. Um, you can just jump into this campaign now, and you know wherever you want to go in the Warham, uh, Warhammer world, you know it's available to you. Um, the world is so massive that that when you start a campaign, you know if you zoom out, you really just get a little bit overwhelmed by the scale of things. And yeah, I think that is the thing I love most is just starting off a new campaign, um, and you realize just that the world is your oyster. You can you can go anywhere. You can do anything. And the amount of content that you can just, you know, come and see, you know, in this world is, is just, it's amazing. Great. Thank you for your time. And um, I wish you a great day at, uh, yeah, at Gamescom. Brilliant. Thanks very much.